Okay, so jumping into this video, I'm going to show you how you can have a dynamic wallpaper so that when you're in light mode, the wallpaper is light, and when you're in dark mode, the wallpaper is dark. This is similar to what Mac does here with some of their pre-built wallpapers for you. For instance, here with the Monterey, you can see here with this extension, I have Nightfall, Nightfall, it'll switch between light and dark mode, which you'll see here by the menu, now it's all white, and then I switch back and it's dark. But if you pay attention to my wallpaper here, it's a dark wallpaper, and then I go back to light mode and it goes light. Um, by the way, yeah, just look up Nightfall for Mac OS if you're curious about this extension here. But basically what I wanna show you here is, okay, so this is working for these default wallpapers that Mac has for us, but what if we wanna do that with our own wallpaper? Well, first off, let me demo this for you. This is just a wallpaper I have here. Here I'm in light mode, and then when I switch back to dark mode, you'll see that the wallpaper dynam dynamically switches for us. I specifically love this because it matches your status bar with all your menus. So let me jump in to show you how you can make a wallpaper that's dynamic like this. First off, I'm just going to switch back. So what we want to do first is you'll pull up your web browser, and then you'll go to dynamicwallpaper.club. This is an awesome website that I just found. Um, it'll first say sign in in the corner. Um, I've already signed in. And what you'll see here is you'll see a list of all the wallpapers you've made. I've already made a few of them, but we're going to go ahead and create one for the demo purpose. And now you first off, you go ahead and give it a name. I'm just going to call it my wallpaper. And then here you are going to drop in the images that you want. So first off, I'm just going to use the same wallpaper I had um, when I was first demoing it. So I'll first select whatever my light wallpaper was. There we go. And then along with that, we also need to throw in the dark version. And I'm probably just going to pull up my file explorer here, just like so. And I had it in downloads, that dark version, and it's this one right here, so I can just drag it in just like that. Okay, and then this is cool here. Um, if you saw on my demo, I was able to specify which wallpaper I wanted for light mode, which one I wanted for dark mode. So let's say that um, by default, I generally prefer dark mode. And then for light mode, I obviously want the light wallpaper, but then for dark mode, I want the dark wallpaper. So that looks pretty good to me right there. Um, and then what you'll also want to do is just switch it to time. I haven't played around with this one as much. Apparently you can do it based off the lighting around you, which is pretty cool. For now, we'll just do time. That way we can magically, you know, just press a button and switch it. Um, we'll just take off the public there and then just hit yes, I have the rights, which will then allow us to hit the create button. Okay, so now this message is basically saying like, okay, your new wallpaper is processing for a second. So just give it a second to um, to load up for us and yeah so once again here in the meantime while we're waiting there's this uh, first background that I have and then here's this next one and I like it too because when you hover over it it shows the light version of it so pretty cool stuff there okay so then now that this one is ready for us we can just click on it and then if we scroll down here's a download button so we'll hit download and here's really where the magic happens. If you notice on this file here, it's a .heic, which is the file that allows us to have essentially multiple versions of this image that we can dynamically switch between. So now, if we go back to our desktop and screensaver, now we go over here. Um, something I noticed is by default, when you click on this folders, it only has pictures and so if you don't have downloads or wherever you're storing your wallpaper you'll want to first just hit this plus icon and then go ahead and open whatever folder for instance if mine was in desktop i would choose my desktop and then it shows up um, but for me mine's in downloads um, and then it's this one right here so you just click it and then once again let me demo that again for you then you just using nightfall again, or you can manually go into your settings. You can alternate between light and dark just like that. 
And yeah, just in case you were curious, I'll go ahead and demo that from, from this perspective. So if you go into general and then you switch to light mode, switch to dark mode, it dynamically does that for us.